John here, welcome to Cheat Meal Life. And man, I'm very excited today. As you probably can guess, I'm super, super hungry. We got some Popeyes chicken, and we got some Subway, bunch of cookies, a bunch of donuts from Bosa Donuts this time, the best donuts in Arizona, Bundt cake, and uh, someone had requested fried chicken, and I was like, wow, that sounds like a really, really good idea. And uh, so here it is, fried chicken. So, we're gonna jump in here. All right, fried chicken. A little look at that beautifulness. All right, oh, oh boy. Mmm. Oh man, it's been too long since I've had fried chicken. That's how you fried chicken, my friend. None of this leaving meat on the bone. Oh, now we got a nice, beautiful thigh. Mmm. As you know, I'm not a big fan of vegetable oil. I try to stay away from fried foods for the most part, even on my cheat meals, but every once in a while you gotta throw them in there. Crunchy fried goodness. So good. Hands are already super greasy. Well, let's get some butter on here. Normally I like the honey on here, but like I said, I kind of forgot it, so. Mm. They actually have surprisingly good biscuits. I had heard that Popeye's biscuits weren't that good. I can't say I've ever tried it, but I have to say, I don't know. These are right on par with KFC, if not better. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. What is this? This don't look like a thigh. Man, if they put that white meat chicken breast in here, I told them. Man. Yep. Sure enough. I 
gonna make me eat white meat? At least it's tried. I think the fried chicken, it's KFC, but why wow, this uh this is fantastic. Pretty sure I'm eating bone and cartilage too. That's okay, they fried enough. Gotta get it all. Oh man. That was great. Got a side of mac and cheese here. Their home style mac and cheese. So they say, boy. I mean, it looks good, but man, it's kind of a little measly portion. Don't they know who they're serving over here? Definitely better than KFC's mac and cheese for sure. Very good. Mm. Boy, I'm just making a mess all over the place here. Eesh. Got some dipping sauces. <laughs> My fingers are so greasy, I can't open this. I mean, a six piece tender meal, too. Well, let's try it with no sauce first. Mm. Good, it could use some more breading. I have to give KFC definitely the advantage on their tenders. Got some ranch. Mustard. Mm. Very good. I'm almost worried this is not enough food. I know I say that all the time and then at the end I'm stuffed like a pig. I got plenty of sweets, let's put it that way. I'm not sure if this is enough actual savory food. That's what I'm worried about. Mm. 
Oh, crispy tender. Mm. I've been waiting for this meal, I'll tell you. It's been about 10 days since uh, a cheat day or anything. And, mm. You start getting close, man. You start counting those days. Mmm. Last tender here. Oh man, I would say this was a great choice. So far, everything is unbelievably delicious. Hmm. All right, so we still got a spicy chicken sandwich, which, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's certainly the best chicken sandwich out there. <clears throat> I like me some Chick-fil-A, but this thing actually destroys it. I'm gonna save that, I think. So, we got a monster from Subway. I've never heard of it before I even walked in there before. So, I guess it's got some steak and onions and peppers and ranch, and for good measure, I threw some more mayo on there. Mmm. Take a look here. Doesn't look too bad. Hopefully with that ranch and mayo, it's not dry at all. All right, let's get it. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, some bacon on there too. Mm. The bread could be a little, fr little fresher. Still very good though. I haven't had this in a long time either. I know every time I bring a food on here, I'm like, boy, it's been so long since I've had this. I haven't had this in forever. Well, when you lose over 100 pounds in a year, <clears throat> you don't do that by eating garbage. So, you know, I'm just eating clean for so long, and now I have a great excuse to hit every little spot that I haven't had in a long time. <clears throat> Kind of see that <clears throat> bacon there. Subway's bacon <clears throat> always looks a little sad to me. <clears throat> I think they get the thinnest strips they can possibly find, and then they don't cook them all the way, which normally I don't mind. But these are just very sad pieces of bacon. <laughs> But I'm glad they're there. All right. 
let's get into this <coughs> spicy chicken sandwich. Whew. Wow. You see, this is a monster. It's a big one. Mm -mm. As you know, I'm a cheeseburger guy, but <clears throat> every once in a while, I throw in the uh, amazing chicken sandwich. Mmm. <laughs> That's a good chicken sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, with that spicy mayo on there. Mm -mm. Pickles are the right balance of everything. I notice a lot of YouTube eaters <clears throat> don't like pickles at all. Yes, Eric, I'm talking to you. There seems to be a bunch of others, though, that also just don't seem to care for pickles too much. <clears throat> I don't know. I love pickles. I love vinegar, so... It just goes amazingly with so many different kinds of meats and sandwiches. Oh, look at this. And now look at that. Man, oh man. Oh, that outside's got such a great crunch to it. Mm. I'm proud of myself. I'm not going too kamikaze pace here. I'm trying to enjoy this. And I am. Oh. Mm. A little OCD with keeping some of this table clear. Don't judge me. Now I think I, uh, I want a few sweets before I <clears throat> dive into my favorite sub from Subway, the tuna. We got uh, a buntlet from Nothing Bunt Cakes. Not one of them mini ones. This is actually a good size one this time. I'm sure you can't guess what flavor it is. <clears throat> White chocolate raspberry. Got some cookies and uh, white chocolate macadamia. No surprise. This is like a chocolate turtle with the caramel and, and nuts in there. And we got the oatmeal raisin, which I love, and uh, regular chocolate chip. So, and these are uh, <clears throat> what are these? Walmart market side. I'm not a normally big fan of Walmart, but I've never had these. And someone said they were pretty decent. So let's give it a shot. Start with the uh, <clears throat> good old chocolate chip cookie. That's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Now we got the oatmeal raisin. <clears throat> Let's try this one. Hmm. These are good. They're very chewy, almost like in an artificial way. <laughs> Not like the grocery store, you know, the ones that are sitting on the shelves from months on end. That's crazy. But these are <clears throat> these are actually surprisingly good. Ooh. Chocolate turtle cookie. Mmm. 
Oh wow, that's really good. That has a lot going on. The nuts, the caramel. I can taste all that business in there. Mm. White chocolate macadamia. <clears throat> there we are. This one, uh, <clears throat> actually, is the least flavorful of all of them, though. To be, uh, to be honest, I'm kind of surprised by that. You know, I like to save the best for the end, but I got to make sure that I don't get too crazy full. To oh my, oh, oh, oh my god, that's so good! I lost my train of thought. I don't even know what I was saying. Oh boy. Boy, you get this thing out without breaking it. Oh. Oh. oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Oh, my gosh. You can see this. I even got some of the raspberry in the middle there. Oh, oh, I thought the buntinis were good. Oh my gosh. Damn, it's a messy son of a gun. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is intense. Man, they don't mess around over there. Glad I only had one of those. That is a sugar rush. All right, well, jump into the tuna. What do you call that bread? Uh, cheese and herbs or whatever it is. Yeah, that could be a little fresher too, but that's all good. Oh boy, when they when they put extra mayo on this one, she put extra mayo on it. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Subway's tuna, but it's amazing. Like. <clears throat> I've had tuna from fancy restaurants and all kinds of different ways. And boy, there's just something about Subway's tuna that just hits me right. <clears throat> I absolutely love it. Seems like a strange combination. <clears throat> Popeyes and Subway. <laughs> I wonder how many people have made videos with Subway, <clears throat> with Subway and Popeyes in it. <clears throat> the same one. Probably not too many. Probably none. Mm. Now I'm finally starting to feel the food. <clears throat> When I was a kid, I once saw someone eat two Subway foot-long subs, and I was like in awe. I was like, oh my gosh, that dude is a monster. How could he eat two foot-long subs in one sitting? <clears throat> if I only knew then. <clears> That's funny, as a teenager, <clears throat> I used to think I was a boss. And that I could finish a foot long sub with extra meat on it or double meat and chips. <clears throat> I was like, yeah, I got a big appetite.
<coughs> I see that mayo just <coughs> oozing out. Oh man, <coughs> that might even be a, a bit much for me. Well, I'm gonna grab me another water <clears throat> and then it's time for some donut action. Now these are Bosa donuts. They're absolutely incredible. I have an apple fritter. Their glazed donuts are the best glazed donuts on the planet. They blow Krispy Kreme out of the water. The buttermilk, one of my absolute favorites. These things are heavy and dense. These are a high calorie donuts. Got the little devil's food cake here. So, huh, well, you know, that last apple fritter I had was not very good. It was from Fry's Marketplace. So this is from an actual real donut place. I'm imagining this is gonna be much better than the last one. Let's take a bite here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Night and day difference. It's so much fresher. Oh, the apple tastes more like real apple. It's crunchier. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you, the difference between a really good apple fritter and a not good one is pretty huge. Mm. I can taste a little bit of cinnamon in there. This is well done. I gotta say, if you ever make it out to Arizona, you gotta do Bosa Donuts. They don't have a lot of the classic, fancy donuts with all these toppings and things like that, but the donuts they do, a lot of the basics, they do them extremely well. Oh man. I'm feeling it. Now if I do this one, I think I'm gonna be in trouble. I don't know that I'm gonna be doing be able to do any more <laughs> after that. <laughs> if I get this one, I might be able to do a little bit more. Oh boy. Such a conundrum. Well, let's go with glazed. Oh my gosh. It's so soft and airy and fluffy. Mm. Oh, incredible. Best glazed donuts I've ever had. They're like twice the size of Krispy Kremes too. Do I keep pushing it? I don't want to feel too full. Well, the hell with it. This one just looks too good. <clears throat> oh my God. This thing is heavy and dense. Oh man. But it tastes so good. And to think I was planning on eating ice cream later. <laughs> Boy. Overzealous, I'll tell you. That's what 10 days eating super clean will do to you. It make you think you can eat 20,000 calories in one sitting. Whew. Mm. Man, that's a good buttermilk donut. Whew. Oh, I'm already getting thirsty from the extreme sodium content from Popeyes. That's inevitable. I honestly think this one would hurt me. 
I am pretty feeling pretty full. <clears throat> Brain starting to shut down. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know what it is. I mean, I briefly looked at the calories prior to kind of get a rough estimation of where it was going to be, and I'm somewhat under the impression that I'm at like, I don't know, like 7,000 calories? Maybe I'm just way off. Because I feel more like I've eaten, you know, like 9,000 or even more. I don't know. Like once you hit a certain amount and you know your body, you can kind of gauge almost how many calories you've had just based on how you feel. So, I don't know. Something tells me I'm doing the math wrong in my head. So, I mean, obviously it's sitting up here. I, I don't know what it is, but we'll see if my internal clock is better than what I briefly looked at. Oh, to hell with it. <clears throat> oh. I made it. I don't know if that's wise or not, but I made it. Well, if the way I feel and the way I've been kind of training my stomach capacity is any, any indication to where I'm at, <clears throat> the way I feel, I'd have to say this is one of the largest single sitting meals I've ever had. I don't think it hit 10,000 calories, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's between in, in between nine and 10,000, somewhere in there. I could be way off, but because <clears throat> like I said, when I was looking, I'm under the impression that it's it's lower than that, but I just, I feel a lot more full than I would think I would after like 7,000 calories. So I don't know. We'll see where it's at, but boy, I have to say the Popeyes blew my mind, completely exceeded my expectations. It was incredible. Super tasty, crispy. I mean, every bit of it was amazing. The Subway, on the other hand, was not as good. The bread wasn't as fresh. They kind of put a little too much mayo, <laughs> even though I did request extra mayo. It just, the quality just wasn't there. I haven't had Subway in a while, and I, I get it. It's not, you know, the highest quality food out there, but I'm kind of disappointed. The desserts were amazing. Even the Walmart cookies I thought were great. Bosa donuts were absolutely incredible. It's a good thing that they taste as good as they do because hitting that at the very, very end, things ain't tasting as good after that many calories. So all in all, oh, very, very satisfying cheat meal. After the 10 days, completely worth it. I feel stuffed, but I feel, feel good. I feel like these carbs are about to just thicken up these veins and the sodium. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. That eating feast, been a pleasure. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, you can lose weight and still eat great. We'll see you next time.